Hello and welcome to episode 9 of Tabaristan here in European Rosales 4, where we go for the This is Persia and uh, Shahan Shah achievements. For Shahan Shah, you need to form Persia as Tabaristan, and for This is Persia, you need to form Persia and then control Egypt, Anatolia, and Greece. Not too hard. Uh, we might be going for some other achievements along the way, but it really depends. I'm thinking possibly Silk Road, but Silk Road is also easily done in a Bengal Tiger run, which is an achievement that I'm interested in. Alright, that province has been converted. Let's go ahead and convert Ferra, sure. How much worse score is Gore? Nine. Okay. Please get Rebels, Persia. Please start converting Ardalan like a weirdo. Let's grab uh, the Miltech. So now we're 13 years ahead of time. Sweet. We'll go add the cannon into our stack that's sieging. The reason our stack's all in there... The reason we have our whole stack there, I should say, is because we can't really risk anything. I mean, they have a lot of troops, the enemy. But even having one cannon when they have none should be an amazing thing for battles. I mean, these are pretty crap cannons. But still, it's the principle. They're eating my fort defense. <laughs> from me being pious. They're attacking into highlands, also known as hills. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it has minus one, just like hills. Apparently Multan is invading Delhi, or maybe they accepted an ally is called arms. Yeah, the Delhi conquest of Kumaon, which is owned by uh, John Per, I believe. Yep. Well, it was their luck. Alright, it's going to be about 40 war score for what I want. 4,000 manpower in a province might flip to Shia. It better. It really better. Wow. Okay, Kalat. Where the heck is Kalat? It's right here. It's being sieged. It did it, sweet. I mean, we have zero manpower now. But it did it. Let's, con let's fabricate more claims on our little buddies, the Persia. Alright, what if we did way less than this? What if we on I only took Gore? They wouldn't do it still. We have lost the Siege of Kalat, okay. They took quite a bit of attrition during that siege, huh? What if we rehired the fort defense guy? Oh, we don't have one anymore. Darn. Alright, so, Afghanistan. You're Tech 5, I'm Tech 8. Um, Kazakh is Tech 5. In those techs... I've had three tactics levels, so I'm po I have 0.75 more tactics than them. I even have some discipline from uh, an idea. I should be able to beat them, especially because I have a cannon, so I have some I have some fire damage during that phase. My general doesn't really support what I do the best, though. So, and also we'd have low manpower if we did engage. That is attacking into the desert. And I don't think there's a river crossing. There probably is. Yeah, Chagai. There isn't one with Bamiyan. So we'll attack from Bamiyan if we do. And I think we will. We're also going to check for generals. Do we have any good ones? We have a three fire. Not really that good, though. We'll just keep the one we have. Alright, so we're going to attack from Bamiyan. We're going to do it. I believe that we can do it. 
We have zero manpower. Not a wise thing to do at all. Let's just take Chagai. They'll probably want to do it by the end of this crap anyway. <laughs> Hopefully a Multan will reinforce, but they would add a river crossing most likely. Okay, so we have a worse general, but we have way more tactics. Let's try it out. Wow. Yeah, we've barely lost any troops, and they're just gone. Alright, cool. So what can we take? Not what we want yet. What if we go and siege their capital? with half of our troops, and then the other half will go chase them down. They're going to Ghazni, and then what? They're heading somewhere into the mountains, into the hills. But they're gonna have low morale, so it's cool. They're heading to Ro? Are they stopping at Ro? Probably. They'll be there in the 4th of October with some fire damage, but I don't really have much fire. But it's fine. So much tactics that it, it'll bounce out. Okay, where are we, where are we going now? Going into Cabo. There's one morale tick. Hopefully don't get, they don't get too much. Now they're going to Balk. They're going to stop there. Gain one mercantilism. Awesome. Stack weight, please. Nah, no, it's already too late. We've already had too many phases. Alright, well, that should be good enough, though. Right? Yep. Awesome. So now let's, uh, core that. None of that will be made into a core when we form Persia. We'll also raise autonomy where we can. In the places that need it, of course. And now with our armies, we're going to go down south and consolidate and then build mercs to fill in the gaps. We'll also let these peasants and nationalists siege a province at least, because then Persia's cost to annex will go down. It should go down to below 100, and we'll be able to just full annex Persia, core Tabriz, and form Persia, and not have to core any of the other provinces. Right, let's consolidate while we can. And raise mercs. Looks like we can't really raise many. We'll raise, we'll go over our force limit a little bit. We can definitely afford it. <laughs> I should fabricate another claim. Sure. I don't need it at all, but I'm doing it. Okay, so the peasants have sieged a province. It's now... The, the cost has gone up because autonomy is taking down, huh? Let's, uh... Let's support Persian peasant, peasants. All right, cool. Now we're gonna head up to Quas Quasvin and check it out. I hope these sieges actually do stuff. Come on, sieges, do stuff. Okay, did that raise? Did that? That did not raise autonomy. This one did though. I guess it doesn't raise autonomy as much as it did when the feature first arrived. Do these guys have rebels? Yeah, they do. Uh, Sunni zealots. Darn. Too bad for them, huh? Alright, when this claim's done, we're gonna go to war. We sadly won't be able to take everything unless these peasants do their magic. 
but it doesn't look like that's happening. Let's keep our piety high regardless of the manpower repercussions. We should actually build armories, shouldn't we? Let's do that. In the good provinces first, and then all the provinces that are growing next. There we go. We'll call it growing. <laughs> Oh, we're finally gaining gaining stuff again. Cool. All right, Cor Coruscant Patriots are ticking. Oh, I see why. Okay. And then we have a uh, those are Coruscant Nationalists actually. And then the Patriots, I believe, are from the missionary. Or no, we we're done missionarying. Sorry about that dog bark. All right, Gwadar. Down here, Baluchi. Don't need to worry about it. Cool. Okay, so this province has been sieged. What's going on? 102. Damn. I think we could let the nationalists win. Because we'd gain courts on the provinces anyway. So, I'll support a different breed of rebels. Bukti nationalists, and hope they and hope they do it. You know. Oh, these are both Persia stacks. <laughs> All right, come on. Oh, stab drop. We're at plus two, it's cool. We can get announcement of sect practices, okay. We're now back down to uh, super low piety though. Kinda makes me sad. This should break their country right about now. With one more siege, it should. There we go. Country is broken. Oh! Great. Kara's vassal now has Tabriz. Yeah. Well, let's go and full annex Persia, shall we? We'll fabricate on their last province. I didn't. I shouldn't. I should have expected that to happen. When does our truce with Kara run up? 1503. <laughs> I really should have expected that. Wow. <laughs> Whatever. It's fine. We can take Tabriz in this coming war. And I'll have claims on all of this stuff. Royal marriage with Persia. No, th no thank you. Take Kerman Shah. Nah. Or wait, yeah. I want that mission. It'll give me some admin points to help court. Botan offers me an alliance. Where are their cores? Oh. Would they accept vassalage? Yeah, they would. Alright, let's do that. Kind of weird that they could offer me an alliance, but whatever. Let's do it. Peaceful vassalize these guys. Kiva no longer considers me a rival, so I can probably no longer consider Kiva at the tick of the month, right? Nope, their army's still small enough. Let's build another mortar.
we have our armories, so I guess our manpower stuffs went up a little bit. Maybe not as much as we would want, but it happened. Alright, well, this has been a glorious episode. And it's ending. So please like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, leave a comment if your feelings are more complicated than I like it or I dislike it. Have a beautiful day. Goodbye.